Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel or podcast. My name is Ella Ringrose and in today's video we're going to talk about music. This is um, honestly a topic that has been swept under the rug when it comes to programming, conditioning, manifestation, creating our lives and I feel like it's a reason a lot of people are stuck and we don't even realize it also if you're wondering why my chest is red i just did this like shamanic healing thing and like my, there's blood pumping all around my body so if you're not watching the video that is why um but i want to talk all about music because music is beyond powerful it is always speaking to us or subconscious mind it's one of those things that you can go from being the happiest person in the world to feeling the saddest in like a second from a song that's how powerful it can control um, our internal worlds and I want to go into that and how you can use music to manifest your dream life and things that you should look out for if you're if you're on a conscious manifestation journey a conscious spiritual path um, it's important to really watch the music you're listening to and consuming and the ones that you should listen to if you want to manifest more I just want to let you guys know that right now I have opened the doors to the manifesting breakthroughs in 2022. I'm keeping this open until the 1st of January. After that, I'm closing enrollment and I'm never going to promote it ever again. It's just a once off thing. I wanted to help you guys be able to manifest literally all your 2022 goals and visions and dreams and aspirations. And it's only 33 euro. These are some of the things that will be included in it. It is action packed. Like I put so much into it. Um, I want to help as much people as possible, so I did it at a really affordable price. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. And if, you've off, if it's after the 1st of January and you're watching this, unfortunately, it won't be available ever again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's get into music. So this goes back to me. I mean, I've always loved music. I've always loved like Justin Bieber when I was younger. I think every girl, Justin Bieber was like, you know, the one. He was like, every girl was convinced they were going to marry him. Um, and I remember like I would have um, Taylor Swift CDs. You remember back in the day when you could have a single, just like one song on a CD and you put it on your CD player and listen to it again and again and be about love and it all make you really happy. And then we get things called Spotify or Apple Pop Music. And we have literally every song ever created at our fingertips. And we start becoming like so addicted to music. Now, this is something that I... I love music. I can listen to music all day, every day. And again, nothing wrong with music, but it sometimes takes me on this whirlwind of emotions where it really can start to program our thoughts. Now, I want you to be very, to really think of what I'm about to say clearly and with an open mind and open perspective. So everything in this world is really conditioned in a system. When we go into this world, and especially if you're watching, you are a spiritual being, you've definitely gone through an awakening of some form because you're understanding all of attraction, all these universal laws that we have that we can harness to create an amazing life for ourselves. When we go into kindergarten or school, we're really conditioned to be a certain way. We're conditioned to go into the system, to work the regular route and to not really question literally anything. And a nut, so understand that everything in this reality has a programming, kind of a plan behind it to keep you stuck in the mind, to not realize that you are a multidimensional being, that you are a magical, powerful, powerful healer and you can heal from anything. And so music is no exception when it comes to that. This is one of the biggest industries in, the, in this universe, in this, I mean, in this planet Earth, this globe that we live on currently. Music is no exception. And there has been many studies and many artists who have came out that have said that there is a lot of subliminals behind these. And if you don't know what subliminals are, they're subliminal messaging that the subconscious can understand, but the, the conscious mind can't even hear. And so a lot of music, Kanye West even came out and said this, that there is music that is basically weakening your root chakra. The root chakra is what is basically known for and the whole purpose of the root chakra, which is an energy disc in your field. It's the lowest, uh, lowest energetic disc in your body. It kind of is at the very bottom of your spine. That root chakra is basically responsible for three things, food, shelter, and money. The three things we need to survive in this world, shelter, food, money. Those are the three things we need as basic survival mechanisms to live in this matrix, to live in this world. And a lot of these chart music, and I don't even know if some of the artists are aware of this, and this is like, I know this can sound so conspiracy theory, but if you even question how you feel after certain songs, sometimes you can feel depleted and like, 
oh my god this i just feel weird it's because it's there to shake up your root chakra and to keep you feeling unsafe and ungrounded in your body and to really struggle and really fit into the system and live more in this fear but we came here to transition into the fifth dimensional world, the 5D, the love, the light, the, the, the vibration, living from the heart, which literally everything in this reality is trying to connect you and disconnect you from your heart. I also want to make it very clear that there is a lot of musicians who, like music sets their heart on fire, it sets their soul on fire. So I'm not dissing music in the slightest. I freaking love music. But I'm asking you to ask yourself after you pay attention, are you living in fear? Do you feel a fear within you? Because a lot of these lyrics, like there's a song, um, I don't know who it's by, I think it's Khaled or I don't know. It's like, I don't want to be alive. I just want to die today. And it's like one of the biggest chart songs at the moment and it's catchy, I'll give you that. But when you listen to the lyrics, your subconscious is feeding this in. I don't want to be alive. I want to die today. I just want to die. Like all of these lyrics, these lyrics are so powerful and you have to understand that these words, these thoughts, are creating your reality, whether you like it or not, is a universal law. The law of attraction is obeying the thoughts that we have, regardless, it's just a law, it's like gravity, it can't be turned off. And so when we are listening and feeding into these words in music, it's really creating a specific type of reality, right? We have a multiple timelines we can hop onto and work through, but when we are jumping into timelines of fear, that is where I don't agree with. And Again, I love music for shadow work. I love music for crying. Like I listen to sad music more than anyone because that's um, not coming from fear. That's just a physical emotion in my body. But I believe the actual fearful energy, that's all coming from the mind. That's not necessarily an emotion that needs to be admitted. Fear is just one of those emotions that is very unnecessary. I believe in being angry. I believe in being sad. I believe in being happy. Those are the shadows. Like I believe in expressing them. But when it comes to fear, I think that is something that us as humans create way more of it than we need. Because yes, we can have these energies that we need to feel. But a lot of the time we are creating these energies ourselves through the music we're listening to. And I don't want you to create more suffering than what you already may need to deal with or what you already have um, as a baseline, if that makes any sense. So understand that a lot of this music this is again this is a worldwide business it's beyond big and another thing music is amazing for expressing the divine feminine i freaking love music for you know shaking and dancing and expressing your body and moving around and getting into your body getting sensual getting all of these amazing energies right that's the divine feminine i love music for that but again it's just going back to the songs that are singing lyrics that you don't desire right a big one. Most of the songs nowadays are about love. And this is a programming I think a lot of us are really stuck into about love is that, you know, um, if you're a girl watching this, it's like men always cheat or men are garbage or they're trash. And you'll listen to all these songs and they reconfirm that reality. And when you're wanting to manifest a soulmate, you're not really wanting to listen to music that's saying like men are trash, men are this, men are that, or women are this or that. Because what it, that is doing, it is, is just creating that physical reality. And it's such a subconscious brainwashing thing we don't even realize that we're so unconscious to it. We just go about our day. We don't even really think of the lyrics that are really creating this physical reality. And remember, everything that happened today was created yesterday. So everything in your life and how you feel, all of those things were created from yesterday's thoughts. And t today's feelings and vibrations or actions are going to... Um, ripple into tomorrow it's the law of attraction it's just the law and so what i ask you is to be more conscious now this is the thing music is the best thing ever i honestly think that music is one of the best gifts we have on this planet because it sets our soul on fire so again i'm not saying music is bad i'm saying the opposite i'm saying just check yourself how do you feel after i love 80s music i love 90s music but I think we don't need to be listening to music 24 seven because what that does is it drowns out any downloads we can get from spirit guides or source. Um, it can drown out of a lot of our own thoughts and we're not even conscious of how negative we can be thinking about certain things or feeling. Um, and understand also spirit guides can send you messages through music. So music is a beautiful way. Um, so we're gonna get into the manifestation part now, but I also wanna say like yesterday, I asked spirit guides for a, like a message and basically I click shuffle and I always do this. I go spirit guides, like give me a message and I click shuffle and the song name is like what it'll be. And it'll say, it basically said, you'll love again. And I was like, oh my God, cause it was something like it was, it was to do with relationships. So I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. So I swipe to the next song and it goes, love yourself for now, which was the next song. And then I swipe again and it says unconditionally. How cool is that? You will love again. 
Love Me For Now, next song, Unconditionally. I was like, are you kidding me? So this is beautiful because spirit guides will speak to you through lyrics, they'll speak to you through um, messaging, but understand a great way to identify where your vibration is at, where your frequency is at, is the music you're consuming in that moment. And really identify, go, is this something I want to create? Okay, again, if you want to express your anger, listen to that angry music. If you want to express your sadness, listen to that sadness music. But when you are trying to manifest something and you want to consciously manifest, just be a little bit more aware. This all comes from consciousness, being aware. We're the awareness to that third perspective, our being. So when we're wanting to manifest our deepest desires, let's say you want to manifest love. I suggest you cut out any songs that are talking bad about love. I suggest if you want wealth, not listening to songs about people struggling, struggling financially and saying it's hard and difficult because that is, your subconscious mind is sucking it up like a vacuum, whether you realize it or not. Without you realizing that's what the subconscious is, it's not conscious. And so the music, is where all the, the subconscious stuff sucks up. So when it comes to wanting to manifest something, I suggest you're a little bit more conscious of the music you listen to because there are certain lyrics and there are certain programmings that don't have your best interest at heart and that is just the truth. In this world, there is um, you know, certain people that don't desire us to feel empowered. They want us to feel disempowered. They want us to feel in fear, afraid, um, not confident. And music can do that. Um, and there is certain music, I'm not saying all songs, again, it's just going back to how do you feel after. Like Justin Bieber's new album, like, yes, please. Like every one of those songs makes me the happiest person in the world. He's very, he has very, he has a lot of faith as well, which I really like. And I love the way he expresses that through his music. But that's the point I'm trying to make is like, it's not to say chart music is bad or this is bad, or if you aspire to be a musician, it's bad. Like, no, music is one of the best gifts in the world. It's just about being conscious of the lyrics and if that is something that you desire. Now, if you are really like, let's say you're in a situation where you're just like, I just want to manifest something really badly. I just want to attract this into my reality. Your best friend is going to be Hertz music. So angel frequencies, Hertz music, love frequencies, binaural beats, um, subliminal music. I love love frequencies, uh, 528 Hertz music, all of that good stuff. If you like look up, um, I know Heather, I think her name's Heather Hoffman, Activation Vibration here on YouTube. She has a Spotify playlist and she has loads of high vibrational goddess music and masculine activation music and like different types of things for different flows. So understand there's a lot of shamanic music. I love shamanic drum healing music. All of this music has no messaging whatsoever. It's very subliminal. So it allows you to find that natural state of vibration that we have within us, our inner being, our soul. So again, the music we listen to with the lyrics and the ones that make us feel empowered, like, you know, Beyonce, all of these different things, they're great if you're just wanting to feel good and you're wanting to do all this. But if you're wanting to get, let's say, in touch with your spiritual self, if you're wanting to see what you desire, maybe you feel lost in life, you're like, I don't know what to manifest. Your best friend is gonna be love frequencies, hurts, shamanic healing, because that, it's so neutral and a high frequency. It allows you to tune in to your inner soul, your inner being, what it is your true divinity desires. And that manifests very quickly because our soul is that energy that pulls, that really pulls. So I want to go into a little bit quick bit of my story. Um, so when I was in uh, Toronto, I would listen to all of these songs um, with really kind of weird lyrics, just that, that I don't really question, you know? Um, just a lot of lyrics and all of these experiences I look back now when I found my most played 2021 um, lyrics it all manifested and it wasn't necessarily fun experiences um, but it was all these things and I believe it was because I was so obsessed with this, these songs and these lyrics they kept on happening so it's just about to be conscious of what you're consuming the music you're listening to and if you're wanting to manifest i highly suggest start listening to more hertz hertz music is the most peaceful ambience or jazz music yes like um jazz music like this type of music it's so beautiful to the soul it's so beautiful to really calm and still and tap into your heart and so you know if that's mexican music latino music if it's uh Brazilian music, if it's American pop music, whatever it is that tunes in with your heart, keep listening to that if that's what makes you happy. But just be more conscious of how you feel after certain songs. Um, but it's also great. I love music when it comes to shadow work. I love using it to evoke emotions if I feel I need to heal certain aspects. So understand that music has a time and a place, one billion percent, and it's amazing. But let's say you're really serious. Right now you're in a stuck place. You're like, I want to change. 
the first place you're going to look is your music because it's such a subconscious thing that we don't even realize. It's like the TV program, TV programming, television, tell, lie, vision, tell, lie through vision, programming, right? So all of these things, a remote control controls us. So just be conscious. You know, the things that we don't really question, they're going to be the biggest indicators for our reality because again, they don't want you to know that you can control your reality. You know, we, we were never taught this in school. We were never taught that we're powerful, that we can create, that we can do whatever we desire, that we can, you know, take our life back and really have a fulfilling, enriching life. They don't tell us these things. So understand that, you know, question everything and allow yourself to question everything. And if this doesn't resonate with you, absolutely follow your inner being. But if this does, look into it a little bit more. Uh, but your best friend again is going to be Hertz music and when I started listening to Hertz music I started finding this peace within me I started going into so much more deep love for myself like a really deep self-love when I started to listen to like these Hertz music and I started experiencing my third eye opening I started experiencing all these spiritual mystical experiences beautiful synchronicities and that all came from Hertz music that all came from stilling the mind and really tapping into the body because I talk about this actually in my divine feminine goddess program but you know the ego the voice in our head that little mean narrative that was created through programming through the system through everything because ch as children we don't have that um, it was created so that voice is not you so when we tune back into our heart, which is all about the spiritual path, going back into that heart, into the 5D, um, music is a great way to help you there, but it also can detach you from your heart. It can also allow you to close your heart. It can also allow you to protect yourself, all of these different things. So if you're wanting again to manifest, music is a great place to look and to just be conscious of, um, of the lyrics, of things like that. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you. I hope it found you well. I quickly want to let you know, again, the manifesting breakthroughs in 2022 is going to be down below. 33 euro, you get all of these things and it's only, um, oh, if you're listening to the podcast, I just realized you're not going to be able to hear what it is. Um, I'll add something in. But anyway, yeah, if you want to check that out, it's down below and it'll be closing on the 1st of January. I'm never going to open it again, but yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you in my next video.